This podcast is a part of the Royal Wee Network. Spit on me. This podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash royalweecast. They have over 180,000 different titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. A book that we recommend is Born Standing Up by Mr. Steve Martin. Yep. 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 <laughs> Sign, stamp it. <laughs> Poop. So there's this guy. Uh, when did. was this? What, what job was this? Uh, that's when I worked at the uh, T-shirt factory. T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. Where yeah. do those get made, though? What those presses? Yeah. Uh, that one was from I think Poland or somewhere. I've never been and in the place where they actually made. I've been in the screen printing place. My daddy used to run a screen printing place, and that that is kind of like a. Yeah, that's what we had. It was like a twelve station press. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they shipped it in in gigantic crates on a boat from a. Where the boat would come from. Uh, yeah, Poland or somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we had a... Uh, <laughs> that has nothing to do with <laughs> Where did the shirts come from, Nate? Where were they made? Listen, where were you? The, I always like to think that the shirts... And I would try to work this in anytime someone was asking me. I used to, uh, you know, have to explain shirt types and stuff to people. And I'd always try to work in that if we didn't have any in stock, it was because the winter that we had before was so cold and it killed off all the worms that make the threads for the shirts. <laughs> and you wouldn't know how many times people just would go, oh, okay, and like not even question the fact that worms were just pooping out thread that they turned in the shirt somewhere. Yeah, man, that's what silkworms are. Well, silkworms, right. Yeah, yeah silkworms. About- but not if you're not wearing a silk shirt, there's no worm in that. Oh, yeah, like it's such an insane leap of logic. They go, just, oh, I'll just understand that because there are worms that poop out fabric, man. Okay, no, you're on my team. You're the first person that's ever been on my side whenever I start talking that weird shit. <laughs> Everybody else is like, no, there's no shirt worms. You're not funny. <laughs> my fa- the, the, the attack of you're not funny is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, you're like, not. <laughs> let's, yeah, because what people don't realize is I'm not trying to amuse you. I'm just trying to amuse myself. As long as it cracks me up, I don't give a fuck. That, this podcast is for us. Yeah. It's just a vent. It's just a hole that I can blow ass dust out of. <laughs> and, and every now and then a little silk comes out. <laughs> a little silk comes out. What? What a bizarre concept. What? So there was a guy. There was a oh, guy yeah. at the store. <laughs> There's a guy. He was one of our delivery delivery drivers. Uh, he brought us deliveries like FedEx or UPS or something like that. Sure. And he was a good guy. He's a nice guy, but he was a bit of an odd character. <laughs> he would show up and just randomly talk to us. And he would, he would piss me off sometimes. He would just like, he would call me like Biggin and shit. And I'm like, Biggin? Yeah, Biggin. I was like, yeah, Biggin's going to knock you in the goddamn head. <laughs> call some dude Biggin. Fuck you. <laughs> just, you What's up, Biggin? Hey, what's up, Biggin? Like, nothing much, bloody nose. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but he would do something like, yeah, like one day he just out of nowhere just said, I got, I got some tits on my phone. We're like, what do you mean? Like, it's trapped under a pair right now. <laughs> like, what do you mean? You got some tits on your... It's just hanging. It's hanging <laughs> yeah, under one yeah, boob. Yeah. I got some tits on my phone. I'm like, man, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, I got, I, got some, I got some tits on my phone. So if you want to see him, it's out in the truck. I can go get it. And we're like, no, we're... Right. Yeah, we're good. Right. God, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, Grown ass man. How, how old is this guy? Oh, Give me a ballpark. Pro- uh, Paint a picture. Let's slow this way down. Yeah. Let's I, slow it. Way down. down. I would say he was early 40s. What did he look like? Near celebrity equivalent. Near celebrity equivalent. Ooh, that's a stretch. I don't think he would be a Closest. celebrity. You gotta, you gotta, he would be like give me the, someone. He would be like the guy, maybe Bill Paxton? Kind of, maybe? Like in that in that thing. He's not like Hollywood glamoury looking. He's just like an everyman. Like a, like a dude. Okay. Like uh, He was thin? Yeah, he was thin. Like he was like a moderate build. He wasn't fat. So he's Bill Paxton. Yeah. Okay. So Bill Paxton's got tits he on his phone. Yeah. So Bill Paxton's got tits on his phone, and he's wanting for some reason he's wanting to show us, and we're like, I could never figure out like why. I could see that conversation makes sense to me if we are all fourteen, and if we all just knew each other. You don't. Oh, the equivalent of the our daily involvement with this man is he would pull up and be like, "What's going on?" and yell back through the the delivery area. Dump a bunch of boxes down. We would sign that digital pad. And he'd fuck off. And he would leave. But in that sh- brief com- period, he would just talk. It's, it's almost like he had already been having a conversation with himself. <laughs> and then he just showed up and you took part in that conversation for about 
two and a half minutes, and then he fucked off. <laughs> and then every day it was something. And that was it one day. He just shows up and said, I got tit- how y'all doing today? It's like, pretty good. It's like, ooh, it's hot, ain't it? Yeah. Got some tits on my phone. We're like, what? We all just kind of looked at each other like, all right. He's like, all right, you want to see him? And we were like, what do you mean? Like, why would you want to show... Like, a bunch of like, strangers, yeah, a stranger. But I mean, anybody. Like, we on the internet on our phone. If we want to look at tits, you can pull them up at any time. Like, Pretty why would you should be like, "Hey, I got tits"? Like, what were special at these? Is this- yeah, then you would open with that. Like, if there was something special for some reason, yeah, you'd open with that. Like, I was at a bike rally and t- or something. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to see those either. But it'd be like, why? You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the context where you would show up and be like, "Well, okay, okay." Hey, I've, been, I've been texted back and forth with Sarah Palin. She sent me her tits. You want to see? Them? That would work. I would. I I would say, yeah, yeah. This you could say I seen Sailor Palin's tits from the ups man. Would you? you know, okay. Would you believe him? No. If, if that's the why conversation I'd started. That's why I'd want to see it because I wouldn't believe that he would have pictures of Sarah Palin's breasts. <laughs> the upus man. The upus. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make you try to say the UPS man has the images upus. of Sarah Palin's tits all in one breath, but <laughs> I got as far as upus. <laughs> you <laughs> fucked up. Sounds like something you would catch. <laughs> Bad case of upus. Uh, I got a bad case of upus. You want to see him? It's on my tits. <laughs> <laughs> on my phone. On my phone. You know, they got tits on that phone now. You want to see him? That would be funny if it was his tits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that would be funny. Like, if I took pictures of my tits and went around and be like, hey, I got tits on my phone. You want to see him? And someone's like, yeah. And then you'd be like, boom. Fuck you, pervert. <laughs> Yeah. Is anyone going to go, yeah, all right? Somebody out there, the same for every person that walks around saying, hey, I got tits on my phone, want to see them. There's the equivalent in the universe of that same person that goes, yeah, because one can't exist without the other. Uh, I don't yeah, believe yeah. one can exist without the yeah, other. I, mean, like, I imagine if someone said, trying. I have tits on my phone, do you want to see him to the, that man, to Upas man? He probably would have been. Oh, he would have definitely wanted to see him. Yeah. Bring him yeah. out. What? What? <laughs> He knew the tits were on the phone. Right. And he knew probably that he was going to start the conversation about having tits on his phone. Yeah. But he, but he have... left the phone in the truck. In hindsight, I really wish I would have said yeah, just to make him go all the way back to the truck and get his phone and come all the way back in and show us whatever he thought was so important that he would that he needed that. Maybe position. they were just like... I mean, maybe they were a fucking rocking set of tits. But, 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 but yeah. I mean, the... the So? <laughs> you know what I mean? I've seen some rocking tits before, and I'm never like. I can only think of one time ever that I was ever watching. I was watching an adult film. Oh, we're going down this road. We're going to start talking about tits. We're going to turn into that man. We were either going to talk about tits or we're going to talk about the Upas man. Okay. I don't have any Upas stories. I've still. I got more of this guy. That ain't the weirdest thing he's ever said. All right. Oh, we're going to couch this. We're going to couch. I was watching an adult film. We're couching it. Now uh-huh. you go back to Upas man. Upas man. <laughs> <laughs> Yupus man. Bill Pax, the Yupus man. Yupus man. <laughs> he was always just full of stories, and none of them really stuck out. But one day, he pulls up, and I go back there, and he just goes really loud. He was super loud. Like, one of those people, like, if we're this distance apart, we're, what, about four feet apart now? Sure. He would talk, I mean, he would talk like he were across the room, no matter how close, just a big, loud, booming man, you know what I mean? So, it was, that was funny, but a lot of times you're like, man, you don't need to be that fucking loud, you know? 10.30 in the morning, like, whew, you know, you just roll up, what do you say? And you're like, I don't say nothing, man, just drop them off and go home. And he, he shook away out of nowhere, if he, right in my face, just goes, Hey, you heard about them solar flares? <laughs> yeah, right in my face. To be hey, fair, uh, had you? I mean, I knew what they were. I, I mean, I know what solar flares are, but I thought I think he just heard about it. There was like a there was like a specific case of solar flares <laughs> yeah. that were occurring. He said, well, oh, he was afraid of them. And <laughs> he said, "You, <laughs> this man? He's got to get so much fun. He's afraid of solar flares. <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> this is not real." <laughs> I got tits in my phone. It's, it's the sun. It's scary. He was, he was, he's afraid it's all going down, so he's just saving all the tits he can. He's going to keep on my phone. Solar flares are coming. It's going to ruin all the tits. It's going to burn them all. It's going to burn. There's going to be no more tits. Everybody needs to save them. But he, <laughs> what did he tell you? He said, hey, you heard about them solar flares? I went, Yeah. And he goes, You said yeah. Yeah, because I, I have about heard them. Yeah, I've heard about them. Like, I don't know what do you say that. If I said no, I've been lying. I've heard about them. I went, Yeah. And he goes, They say a big one's coming. It's going to be the biggest there's ever been. And if it hits the earth, scientists say we won't recover for 50 years. 
And I was like, oh, right. He said, so I don't know if you believe in, if you're a gun man or you believe in having handguns, but now be the time to buy one. And he gets in his truck and drives away. And I thought, what in the fuck just happened? (laughs) The UPS man just delivered 2,000 t-shirts and warned me about solar flares and that I should buy a gun. But goodbye. Sure. I mean, clearly it never happened. No. The solar flare never happened. No. What made me think of that was just now I was on, on my phone looking at stuff, and they once again warned of solar flares, and I immediately thought of that guy. I was like, well, he's going to be right, man. Because I have heard that, but I've heard that my entire life. That if a solar, say something yeah, like if that. a solar, big solar flare hits, it'll wipe out all the power yeah. and everything, which that would be chaos. Because if it took 10, can you imagine if all of our infrastructure went down? It would be like Mad Max. For the, for, I mean, would it if nothing came back for 10 years... Would it be Mad Max? I mean, I don't know. I mean, because every all the people would still be around. I mean, I guess I would knock the power out. Yeah, but people know. would go completely bonkers. If, uh, But you got to think all infrastructure went down. I don't know if this is picking it. It's fucking helicopter. There's, just there's like never a, been a helicopter. I don't know if it's a helicopter. It's just like a slow... There's like Cthulhu is out there. It's just like a slow... <laughs> a slow... No, there's a chugga chugga to it. Just there hovering just out. a helicopter yeah. out there. Anyway, yeah. So, so but no. If if it, if everything went down, if our infrastructure went down, what do you say infrastructure? Like we're, banking, we're, Wall Street. There'd be no financial transactions could take place. All ba- information. All. You don't think they'll find a new way to do it? But it will all be gone, wouldn't it? If everything just went down, boom! Solar flare hits. <laughs> However they work, however it hits, <laughs> yeah, it was boom. Maybe but that's what that is. Maybe that's going to ruin generators. No, it wouldn't ruin gas-powered stuff. So you think things so would gas be back? Plants, coal, coal plants, solar. Gas gonna, plants. <laughs> gas will come out of plants. <laughs> gas, not no. Not, <laughs> coal. I said coal plants too. Coal don't oh, come out coal, of plants. Coal plants. Gas power plant, plants. Power plants and gas. I understand gas-powered things. Plants. Gas-powered plants. So they they would just keep producing. But why wouldn't they be able to? What is the solar flare going to do? What? How does it damage us? It hits us with like a, it's basically like a big EMP pulse. It would just be like. Ooh, so does it ruin the wires? I don't know if it like completely fries the wires, but it, it kill. It'll just destroy. Once again, I didn't read. I don't know exactly how they work. I just know they're bad, and we like, need to buy guns and save the tits. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> if you just turn it off and turn it back on, it'll be fine. But even Maybe. if that's not true, even if that's not true, right? Uh-huh. They can. It's not like it. Not, it's gone now, right? Uh-huh. All of the shit that made that shit, and all the people who know how to make that shit, are still around. Yeah, for the most part. But you don't think? I bet people go nuts, man. People but, people I mean, look for an excuse to riot and go crazy. Give it like two or three years, we'll be back on our feet. You think in two or three years people lose their shit? Oh, absolutely. I, I bet people lose their shit the next day. People no. People panic if if everything just went off. There would be no way to tell anybody what happened. It's not like it would come on the what, TV what? and be like, "Hey, solar flare hit." We would just be sitting here and everything would go dead, and that would be it. Eventually, word of mouth would get to us and be like, "Oh yeah, shit's fucked." For ten years, you don't think that would start making people crazy? You couldn't. No one's gonna. No one's gonna. Dude, if you out. leave your goddamn cell, if you leave your cell phone at home and go out and walk around, you're like shit. Sure, you don't sure. have the internet for a day, and you start going a little crazy. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, okay. But first of all, there's plenty of people in the world that that's not true. Exactly true. Okay, and also, yeah, there's probably a lot that it wouldn't affect a lot of places. I would say, but the big ones, they'd be like, so why the fuck did Europe and America just burn to the ground? We're still fine. But th- there's got to be like things in place. There's got to be like they got to be a way to like. You would think it could be all baloney, like Y two K. Cars probably still work. Car- I'm not. Yeah, I don't know how about a car. If, if, unless it's just a little like, explosion a, machine. A little explosion machine. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat to think about. That your car is just a little thing making tiny explosions that get you around. And even when you walk, they say that walking is just a series of controlled falls. So really, everything we do is just a bit of fucking luck and nonsense and all haywire. Falls. Jerks. Walking is like a series of controlled falls. And then you, you, so you control fall into your explosion machine and boom, boom down the road. And then they, that's crazy if you think about it. This everything's all just fucking herky jerky nonsense. <laughs> Firkin, 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 firkin. Uh Yeah, I don't know, but I mean, I don't. If it's an electro, electric car, it wouldn't work. But why? What is the sun gonna do to them? I don't get it. It's not the sun so much as the shit that. It's a big radiation burst. It's like an EMP. Like, what does it do to the electronics? I don't get it. it for, same thing. It's a. Uh, I don't know. It's the same thing as an EMP, kind of an electromagnetic pulse. It, just, but that ruins electronics. Anything that's electronic in that system can never be turned back on. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think it can fire back up. Unless it's hardened against it, like that military chopper that's hovering around outside, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but most stuff it just fries it. Okay, so th- there's a. 
<laughs> the likelihood of this fucking everything up, I think, is very little, man. Because if, if first of all, if you can harden Listen, like military choppers against it, but that, but it's so it's more powerful than stuff we have it's coming from the sun. The okay. ones we have now is like you know it happens I about said naturally when you let off an atomic bomb. <laughs> I guess naturally. in a way, I guess it's natural. It's letting off a goddamn world-ending explosion is, but. It's so clear how little we know about anything. Mm-hmm. I should have read the thing before I started talking. It's something like that. If it fires some kind of magnetic wa- waves or something, and if it hits us right, it'll fry everything. And they say it take years to get back on track. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, even if. Let's even let's take it even a step further. Not only does it fry I, anything. We just need to use this podcast to promote fear and panic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, let's take it even a step further. We don't know. But uh-huh. let's say anything that has a wire in it doesn't just stop working. It disappears. This, well, okay, that's a leap, but 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 I'm saying let's take it even further. We know that's not the, the case, but let's pretend. Okay, give it to me, man. Okay, yeah, let me do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want to? No, I want to. Let's just pretend. <laughs> it's basically what we do anyway. We say one thing and then we just make it up. We just pretend. We're just pretending. I'm still. I'm saying like even if like every TV, uh-huh. every phone, every car, everything went, so it all just vanished. But we saw books. So you're saying, well, I know where you're going with this. You're going to say we can read. I feel like we'd figure that shit back out. We'd get back on our feet in a couple years. Okay. But in the meantime, people have gone berserk. I don't know. If I'm sitting here and that goddamn TV <laughs> disappears, I'm going to go fucking crazy. What do you mean? You're going to stab me? <laughs> I'm going to stab you, but I might go out and stab somebody else. <laughs> Your TV what? disappear? Ah! What? No, I wouldn't End stab. Of no, I wouldn't stab anybody else. But you don't think it would? It would be crazy. People would be coming for your shit, dude. It would get. It, there would be no shit. What shit are they gonna take? Food? Your food? The fridge is gone. And raping. People love raping. But uh, but the TV disappears. People go raping. Yes. Oh, definitely. People <laughs> love to rape. <laughs> I wish that guy would disappear. <laughs> but the, the refrigerator would disappear, but this is insane that we're talking about this. So the refrigerator would disappear, but then there'd just be a big pile of food. Sure. Just a big mess. Sure. So wherever it disappeared, just be a mess. So we gotta, I mean, like, gotta get back on refrigeration, right? But mm-hmm. like, <laughs> step one. Step refri- one, refrigeration. Refri- but like, all of the stuff, uh-huh. like, there, all of the, the supplies and resources and everything are still around. No, I'm not saying that we wouldn't be able to rebuild it, but I'm saying people will be going crazy in the meantime. I think you have too much faith in people. <laughs> You don't think do people go crazy over anything? Sure, you're right. But think about Football this. Games think about and this. Stuff. Turn fucking cars over. Let's just say this. <laughs> and they just look, every now and then, just to show how it's in. Every now, even here, every now and then, just in the middle of the night, you just hear somebody just boo, just they can't contain. They're crazy anymore, and they just just let out a big howl, and you're just like that guy just couldn't take it. He just had to bust out with a woo. Sure, you know. It's in, it's in all of us, man. There's a woo in there. And when the fucking TVs disappear and the refrigerator goes, then there's a pile of mess in the floor. Everybody's not the guy, the woo. Your grandma's going to be, woo! Save the tits! <laughs> sure. Okay. But uh, think about how much effort it would take to riot and go berserk. I'm too lazy to do that. I know I wouldn't want to. But people would. I'm not saying we would. I would said you would. I wouldn't. I was lying. I wouldn't go out and actively riot, but I would definitely kill any motherfucker that came through my door. Yeah, but what, why are they trying to come in here though? What's the, what are they going to do? I'm not really in here. There's nothing. Yeah, there's. But people go. It would be like, you know, roving bands of people that would just go around looking for food, and you know what I mean. You'd have to but get. You have, food you might even disappear. Why is the food gone? What do you mean? Why is there all of a sudden no more food for people? Why is it? Like, well, you got to think how much of it is processed food and processed stuff we do to manufacture and distribute food. Yeah. A lot of places. I mean, unless you unless you have a farm or something like most food is distributed or manufactured or packaged or something somewhere somehow. All that would just stop for a bit. Look how like or just even water, dude. You'd have to start drinking out of the fucking river because like the pump wouldn't work. We couldn't get we couldn't have a cold shower when we unplugged the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I, I think it would cause some chaos. I you mean, think I'd still have to go to work? No. That's the thing. Nobody would show up for anywhere. What would you do? Nobody would show up for work. If there's no more work and everything's goddamn chaos, what are we going to fucking do, man? How are we going to get food? We're going to have to get in with one of them gangs before they kill us. And then be you just have to become a crazy savage. And But guns would probably still work. Oh, guns would work. They're mechanical. Yeah, guns, bullets. But, so then I feel like then like the military and the police force could probably keep people in check. It would be crazy, but yeah, police states. It'd probably be a lot of that martial law. And we're gonna get this shit back on top. That, got- that's a that's a thing. There, I guarantee there'd be some of that. But they could the military could step in and possibly lay the law down 
and make everybody stay in fucking line. But still, if there's no community, how, how are they communicating? There's no electric devices to... Hey! Yeah. Hey, but what's the president going to go out and start yelling? Hey, everybody. We, uh... No more TVs. We need to, uh... Save the tits. Settle the fuck down. <laughs> uh, just calm the fuck down, people. We got a guy. He read the book. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> we, we got all the book guys. We got all the books. We're Things will be okay. We're reading them right now. And we got our best readers, our biggest eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they're, re- they're reading all the books. We're, we're uh, digging a big hole right now to make the factories again. No, we've got all the... Uh, <laughs> why are we just doing Obama impressions? <laughs> Uh, we got to read all the books. My job, I could do easily do my job with no electricity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't need electricity to do my job. No, but I, but I bet people wouldn't send their kids to the schools and yeah, there'd be no elevator. They'd be How worried because they'll be. So, but here's the thing: this is what would cause some initial panic. Is there are people out there? Not a lot, but there are there are people just waiting. You know, like a fucking puma in the grass or something. Like for shit to go down? For or something they... to, just to give them an excuse to go out and beat the shit out of like a little kid or something. Or like, just lunatics. Yeah, yeah. And the only thing that's keeping them in line is maybe just a little bit, because people do it anyway. Like serial killers and stuff like that. People who hate breakfast cereals. And they... <laughs> I'm here all week. And they... The <laughs> Those at home can't see the disappointment in my face. <laughs> It's good. It's it's great. It's <laughs> thorough and complete. The disappointment. <laughs> My bad. The um, I don't know what I'm talking about. No, but there's people just waiting to get. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And that would that would scare a few people. There'd be some crazy people coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, and probably a couple of them. Would, some couple of them might get together and be like, "Oh wait, wait you do uh, you cra- Oh, you're crazy too." And be like, "Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little nuts. It's pretty nut. It's pretty cool, right? We can just go around." But you can't smashing heads. You can't though. You could then. Just if it, if it was a moment of chaos. Yeah. It's like that one guy, if like when people Isn't are rioting and looting, like for the most part, nobody gets really fucked up. I mean, that happened, but they tear stuff up and people get hit and punched and stuff. But every now and then, there's that one guy in the crowd that even the people who are rioting are like, God damn, that guy's losing his mind. And he's the one who like runs over and just hits the fuck out of somebody and starts kicking them and beating them. And that's the one that people have all the video of their cell phone of like, this was a riot. And everybody else is like, yeah, we were just kind of turning over cars and raising hell. Like this guy was... <laughs> Like, you could see it on his face, just like, ah, like he was out for blood. All of a sudden, like, to him, it was all coming down. You know, maybe he's on drugs, them old drugs. <laughs> He'll get you. He's on drugs. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, man. Who knows what'll happen? Maybe with solar flares, just look out for him. Is that the end of your, your Upus story? <laughs> yeah, my, who was he, Upus? Is his name Upus? <laughs> Upus, the Upus man. Upus. Oh, Upus. <laughs> Oopus and Upus. Oopus and Upus. <laughs> Scandinavian uh, worm butt hogs. How would that be spelled? It'd be U-P-I-S and then Y-U-P-I-S? Upus and Upus. U-P- U-P-U-S. Upus. And then Upus. We're just spelling stuff. God, we're just riveting. <laughs> we, <laughs> we pretended words and then pretended to spell them. <laughs> we make believe words. Well, shit, man, I was just in Cambodia. That was kind of like the end of the days. I was thinking the whole time I was there, just walking around, like, mm-hmm. this is pretty much post-apocalyptic. Mm-hmm. Like, when you did, outside of the, like, when you landed in the airport in that town, it was like Disney World. It was just, like, Mexican restaurants and, and, uh-huh. and, and big hotels and stuff. But if you got outside of it, it was just dirt roads and cows mm-hmm. and, like, wooden bridges. And it was... Tell the car gas. Oh, yeah. The, we had a, a, a guy, the tuk-tuk driver, it was just the taxis there were just, like, a... Uh, a wheeled roofed bench machine bench with a, a motorcycle attached to it the motorcycle would just drag that hold around on, hold on they're called tuk tuks tuk tuks yeah tuk tuk okay. I don't know maybe that's the word in, in their language I don't know they were just called tuk tuk like tuk 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 you want a tuk 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 I don't know yeah T-U-K T-U-K yeah no I gotcha more now, spelling I don't, mean, I don't mean this yeah I don't mean to sound insulting but it sounds like something a little kid would like you'd teach a kid want to go for a ride on tuk tuk yeah. it was just a motorcycle with a, like a carriage attached to it okay and we would drive around, and the guy stopped inside of the road, and it was just an old lady with, like, a shelf of what looked like booze. It was, like, black label, Johnny Walker black label and stuff. Uh-huh. But it was all peeled and, like, had been clearly in the sun for a long time. Right. Just full of gasoline. And he gave her some U.S. dollars, and she he, she poured them into his gas tank, and... Off you went. Yeah. It's crazy. Dude, the guilt tripping in that country 
it was unbelievable. Like there's this guy, we went around just like every guy like tuk 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 tuk, and we're like, we want to go to this place, and they're like, that's a far place. It was like, okay, we will give you twenty U.S. dollars to bring us to that place, uh-huh. and they're like, no way, that's too far. Twenty five. We're like, no, we want to pay twenty dollars, and they're like, no, it's too far. So we just kept walking, mm-hmm. and someone's like tuk tuk. We're like, we want to go to this place. We're gonna spend twenty dollars, right? And the <laughs> first guy just started following us. Like, you guys, no, oh, you guys gotta charge more. It's too little. It's too little. Like you gotta charge more. Mm-hmm. And we're like. We want to spend twenty dollars. He's like, okay, I'll do it for twenty two. We're like, all right, okay. So because uh-huh. in the, our hotel it was like thirty seven or forty or something, right? Right, and maybe you just walk three dollars off the price while you're looking for cheaper guys. And we're like, yeah, now it's twenty. You walk the quarter. It was lot. far though. It was like an hour and a half ride on oh, a motorcycle, sure. like Damn. through dirt roads and stuff. It was that it is, was out there, man. That is far. Yeah. So we gave the guy twenty. Well, well. So we mm-hmm. said twenty two, whatever. And then like there's a moment of silence where like one thing I had to use the bathroom. And I'm, like, I'm just standing with the guy. And this guy starts telling me the sob story about how he he took the ride because he really needs the money. Like he's like, I've talked to him to 22 because my son is sick. And he explains like his back is hurt, like the discs in his back are messed up. He's in the hospital right now uh-huh. and he needs to pay for it. I'm like, Damn. all right, man, right? So it's Here's like three more dollars. Well, so so then we start driving or whatever, and then there's a it's all dirt road. So he stops and he buys me a mask because one thing is wearing like a like right. a hood uh-huh. with a thing in the front. And he's like, you don't have one, so he bought me a mask. To wear like a mm-hmm. like a surgeon mask, you right? Know? Right. And I was like, you didn't have to. He, he bought it. He didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, you didn't have to do that, man. And then we stopped, and he, he bought some gas, and then he bought us three waters. Like it's really hot, and he bought us some three waters. I was mm-hmm. like, God damn, it, man! So we ended up giving the dude like thirty bucks. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because then you feel bad. Yeah, exactly. Like, he, he, oh man, like, I, I got you down on the three dollars on the price, but then you he bought giving us water and masks and yeah. Your son's sick, but the thing is, like, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. I mean, yeah, because I'm sure that's everywhere. I mean, you don't know who's bullshitting. Yeah, you don't know who's pulling your leg. You it's like I mean? you stop on the side of the street, a homeless man, dude. I hate those fucking homeless man stories. It's like just ask for money. <laughs> yeah. Do you want money? I'm totally fine with that. I don't care if a guy walks up and says, "Listen," and that's happened before. I gotta just come up and be like, "Listen, I need like I live under a bridge and I I need something to drink, like booze." And I'm, I can I can be like, yeah, man, all right. Because there's people be like, well, I wouldn't give him money if he's just going to drink. Like, man, if I was living under a fucking bridge, I'd want to drink, too. I'd want to be drunk as hell. I'd be like, here, man, here's like 20 bucks, just sandwich and some booze. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that story like, of like, you know, my car broke do? down and I don't have the money and um, I went yeah. out to the street and my, my kid needs diapers. and blah, blah, blah. The thing is, oh but God. what ruins that for people, it's like, because... Th- there's sometimes you can tell somebody starts into something like that and it's legit. You know what I mean? But nine times out of ten, you get these guys because it happened to us. I remember one time me and one of my buddies were going into a store, like a convenience store, and this guy came up and gave us this big long spiel. He's like, man, he's like, my girl kicked me out of the house and I don't have anywhere to stay. I'm trying to get a coffee in here. He said, but that's what, then I want to get, I need money for a cab. He said, I'm trying to get to my brother's house so I can stay. And this whole big thing. But my girl, she kicked me out. She won't let me come back and I have no way I'm stuck here. I'm like, all right, let me see. And I like gave him some money and my buddy gave him like 10 bucks. I gave him like five something. I'm like, all right. The very next weekend in the same place we go and the guy came up to us and he's like, man, he's like, my girl kicked me out. I'm trying to get like basically the same story. And I was like, well, I was like, you don't remember us? And my buddy started laughing. It was the same, both of us, exact same, the exact same scenario. And he kind of looks at us. I was like, man, he's like, you gave us the same story last week. And he goes, oh shit, you busted me. And he just laughed and like walked off and like tried to hit up somebody else. Oh, fuck that. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? You yeah, know what I mean? Jesus. It's like, He's just out, just wanting money for whatever he needed. But, but he was like, I mean, he didn't look too cracked out. I mean, he didn't look like, you know, sure, sure. strung out or anything. He was just, it looked like he was just out hitting people up to see how much money he could make. Right, man. Good amount of money, yeah, man. we gave him 15 bucks. And then it's like, but the thing is, some other guy, like there was this other guy that we felt bad but because it was, but he was legit. He never like would ask you for money. But he was he was an actual homeless guy. And you'd see him everywhere. So anytime I'd see him around, like we'd buy him sandwiches or something because he was a legit homeless. Sure. And he would never hit you up for money though. The only time he ever asked for anything is we were standing, we were going walking by a Quiznos subs, and they have like I don't know if you know what, the, but it's like just a sub shop. But they have like a I little have Quiznos. Yeah, they little, have them here too. Oh, okay. Really? Huh? I never yeah, know. you wouldn't think they have Quiznos in Taiwan, but they do. I mean, because it's not that good. Yeah. That they pop up all over the world. Subway's not that good in there. Sub- no, man. Subway's not either. Something so, no. I saw a funny Onion story that showed a uh, said uh, Subway manager disgusted at sight of cold cut combo devouring rat, <laughs> and it had the sandwich eating a rat. I don't even know like what I mean. What's a good sandwich shop? I don't. I, like I feel like I've, all the best sandwiches I've ever gotten have been like at grocery stores and stuff. You know the thing mm-hmm. here, man. You can't really get a good sandwich here. 
I've not tried, but I've, I've been. I think about it. Like I'd like a hot dog too. I'd yeah, like well, Co- Costco can get a good hot dog. No, we need to hit that up. Yeah, yeah. I want to just go find like an Italian deli. Yeah, just a you sandwich know? shop. I remember I said something to Juan Tango. Like, can you help me find this? She's like, I have no interest in deli meats. <laughs> I was like, I know, you. I know you're a vegetarian, but I like this thing. I have a strong interest in deli meats, so we're going to come to a compromise. We need to have the agreement of the deli meats right mm-hmm. now. We have to have the deli meat conversation. Yeah. They probably have avocado or something you can put on the tomato. They like fancy cheeses you probably yeah. enjoy. Fancy cheese and some avocado and some tomatoes and olives and shit and put that on a bum with some seasons. It was a complete dismissal of any idea of, fancy, yeah. of deli meats. I have no interest in your meat. I will not. No, I will not. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but there, you know, the only thing I was gonna say about that story is he would always ask people to go in and get him hot peppers. Yeah. He's like, if you're going in, he's like, they got hot peppers at the end of that. Would you care to get me some? And usually we just buy him a whole damn sandwich. So yeah. I'm like, look, we'll just give you some peppers. Like, right have, on, have yeah. A, yeah, here's a ton of peppers and some sandwiches. Like, because he would just push around like a buggy, you know what I mean? Full That's of probably stuff. a smart way to do it, though, man. If you're asking just for some peppers, there's no way someone's just gonna give you some peppers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there probably will be some. Like, the thing is, I might do it because I wouldn't be thinking. I would just be like, mm-hmm. oh, man, I want some peppers. I'll give him some peppers. But then later, yeah. be like, oh, what the fuck? I should have given that guy a sandwich. Yeah. But you yeah, know what I mean? We, like, yeah, no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, we yeah. need to find a good sandwich shop. <laughs> That's what we're saying. <laughs> the, the, God damn. The agreement of the deli beats. Uh, uh, homeless people, man. You don't really see too many homeless people here in, in Taiwan. Mm. Every now and then you see some people sitting in those like underground, uh, yeah. the, the cro- underground crosswalks. Yeah, I see exactly the same dudes, too. Yeah, sitting with like a hat, just wanting some money. Like, he didn't have any. I don't think the guy that I saw had any legs. And I'm like, how'd you even get down here, dude? I th- I'm guessing he just fell down those steps and now he lives down there. <laughs> I'm always wondering, and I know it's not this simple, it's maybe a naive view, but like a lot of the homeless guys I see here, I can't really talk too much Chinese, but they say hello to me, you know, mm-hmm. and they seem calm, they don't seem like they're lunatics. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But like, if you have your faculties, and you're mm-hmm. capable of asking for money, and standing in one place for a while, like you could get a job somewhere doing something. If you would think one thing, and I may be wrong, no, you're, you're right. Because a lot of times, like in the States, a big population of them are like veterans and stuff like that. Because right. They go to war and get injured or just get mentally fucked from having to kill people. Yeah, you don't have a leg stuff. and you're fucked up. That's one thing. Yeah, and then you come back and like nobody takes care of them and like they've got, you know what I mean, and they end up on the streets. But I don't know. I mean, maybe there's some of that here. I'm sure that's everywhere. Everybody goes to war eventually somewhere. I mean, not everybody. Everybody <laughs> goes to war eventually. Everybody goes to war eventually. Man, when those solar flares hit, we're all going to see some shit. We're we'll all be living in a basement, no feet. <laughs> but what are you saying? I was just saying, like, oh, obviously, some but, kind of job. But you see, like, I've seen so many homeless people who just seem like able-bodied men. Like, mm-hmm. I don't can't. know, I don't know them personally, right. obviously, but it just seems like, I guess maybe drugs are a son of a bitch. I mean, that might. Be them old drugs, man. Them old drugs will get you. That's a reoccurring theme tonight. Them old drugs. They make people go ape shit crazy when the anyway, and shit hits a fan even more so. And then when things come back to normal, then you can't get a job when you're on those old drugs. Because when I go down those underground passes, there's always like some college kids playing guitar, or there's this, there's this German guy, like there's this crazy yeah. like, and I'm, I'll throw him some change, you know, yeah. or like the kids singing, and there's a guy who practices violin. Like there's a guy practicing violin, and there's a homeless man next to him. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to give the guy violin, I feel like he's trying, he's doing something, you know what I mean? That seems like a dick move, though. If if you're going to play violin, you're going to outshine a homeless man well, for some money. There, That's a dick move. Well, I don't like it's their ploy. Down there, the acoustics are nice because it's really echoey. I bet but you they, still, <laughs> that just seems like a dick move. I see where you're coming from. It's, it does sound nice. It's nice. But and, down there, it's very common for people to play music, and also homeless people hanging out down there because you can't get rained on and stuff. Yeah, I, but I'm not trying I, to outshine I, the homeless man. I mean, but it seems like a, you know what I mean. If you're if you're the homeless man, you're like, God damn, I hope that guy with the violin doesn't show up today. I'm hungry. And then he shows up and it's like, shit, I ain't getting any money because this guy, well, maybe that guy ends up, well, no, he wouldn't be playing music if he wasn't wanting to keep the money. It's like, maybe he gives some up to the homeless man. Well, maybe he might. He might. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he'd be like, listen, I know I'm stepping on your toes. Ooh. Uh, no maybe toes. he gives it all. I mean, we don't know. Maybe he gives the whole thing to the homeless people. He could. Yeah. That could be his thing. Yeah. That'd be super nice. That'd be cool of him. Yeah. I like to think that. I'm, I'm feeling positive. I'm, I've, I'm tired of thinking about humanity going ape shit and raping. I'm, I'm thinking. Been playing sweet fiddle and giving it to the <laughs> playing sweet fiddle and giving it to men in the in the streets. Behind. Right now we're just talking about the social issues. Yeah, we're talking. We're hitting hard. This is real talk. It seems like uh, people who have I don't know if this is going to come off right. Maybe something a little like maybe like a deformity or just something they're a little odd. This is here or maybe mentally or something. It's like they seem to be like the people like 
slinging potatoes or something. You know what I mean? Or like selling eggs. Yeah, they, yeah they, they, they like sell like, like that's what they do. They have like gum. And- yeah, somebody's born with like a weird hand and it's like it fucked them or something. It's like they can't, they don't have a normal job. They're like selling corn on the street, like a cooked ear of corn. You know what I mean? And that's like, and at first I just thought like that's what it is. But the more you go and you see a lot of that, and I'm like, that seems to be a thing. Like somebody's like got dealt a weird hand in life and they won't even, it's like they don't even work at like a convenience store. Like they're like on the street selling yeah, like yeah, yeah. potatoes and shit. You know what I mean? So that's, that's interesting. I guess that's the thing. Yeah, I really don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I've just noticed that over the, it seems to be like that. There's like this system of like, right. You know what I mean? Like if there's something a little weird, like somebody's got like a weird eye or something, slinging potatoes, man. Yeah. There's a guy who like his toes, his feet are all weird. And he sits on one of those, you know, those like things you used to sit on in gym class and scoot around the gym floor. Yeah. He sits on one of those and just scoots himself around and tries to sell like sheets. Uh huh. Like pillow sheets and stuff. I don't know what they are. I didn't really get that close of a look, but. I see him all the time, and he uh-huh. just like scoots himself around in the streets. Yeah, yeah that's a- scoots on the streets, on them sheets. <laughs> really getting to the bottom of the issues, man. That's that's yeah. our hope with this podcast is to really just to, to suss them all out. We're not trying to be amusing anymore. We're trying to solve social issues by having really <laughs> singular views on like why people are homeless and can't get jobs. Why don't I they think- just get a job? <laughs> yeah, why don't they just get one? I think they're probably lazy. <laughs> I know it's not that simple. I know it's not that simple. <laughs> no. But I think in some in some circumstances it must be. Yeah, sure. There's like the guy who tried to just get free money. You know what I mean? There's always going to be that guy. Oh, well, that's, that was a big thing. <laughs> you, shit, you got me. They just went laughed and went away. We're like, fuck you, boo. I said boo. Fuck you, boo. I didn't mean to say boo. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, boo. Hey, boo, fuck oh, you. Oh, my God. I don't know. I just pointed across the room for no reason. I looked. <laughs> yeah, you looked and I realized I don't know why I pointed. I didn't mean there's nothing to point at. <laughs> so we were taking a cab. I don't remember where we were going. I think we were coming back from somewhere. And we started talking about, I guess, so I had met this girl off Tinder and she mm-hmm. wanted to go to the zoo with me, I guess, or us. I think I told her that you were in town. And she's like, yeah, let's go to the uh, zoo. Yeah. So we were going to do that. And we just completely blew her off. We did, ultimately. <laughs> but the night the night before, though, we were talking about it, and we were kind of worried that maybe she's going to kill us. Or I think maybe you said that. And I said, there's no way that some yeah, small Asian picture, girl... Or, yeah, because she was pit, her picture was all these pictures, like drawings of people getting stabbed and stuff, remember? Yeah, her, oh yeah, her paintings. She, her paintings were like people in like a bathtub cutting their wrists, and the bathtub was all blood, and like... They were getting speared through the chest and stuff. Yeah, like two people hugging, but like the first person was putting a sword through both of them. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. when I met up Tinder. It was like, yeah, so like abort, no abort. baggage at all with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your previous relationship? Smooth? Smooth sailing? <laughs> it's good. It's good. How do you feel? <laughs> so we were going to meet yeah. that girl at the zoo. <laughs> All right, let's go to the zoo. But uh, we go. We we're, we're taking a cab somewhere, and it was Mike, Nate, and I, and and we started talking about how this girl is going to probably murder us. And I, I am of the firm opinion that Nate and I are, are big enough that even though we are not trained in fighting, uh-huh. that we could take people who are half our body weight easy. Honestly, we we go back and forth because we it depends. But if they were trained, we, if they were super well trained, no, we couldn't do it. Of course, right? They would know where yeah, to hit us. They kick you in the knees. You take a big person, you just kick them in the knee, and you're fucked. Yeah, you're just going down. You get yeah. kicked in the knee, and, and if you she would have blindsided us, you get punch, punched in the neck. Yeah. But the thing is, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like in Oh Brother Art though, right? It's uh-huh. like I'm gonna I'm not gonna let her. If she starts attacking me, you're not gonna just be like, huh? She can't take Wait, what are you talking about? Where's old brother Arthur come into this? What when when about? John Goodman attacks uh, the character and, and, and George Clooney, uh, oh yeah, he just watches <laughs> him get beaten. He's like, "What are you doing?" Right, right, okay. No, yeah, you definitely jump in. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about. Like, it depends on how big of a person we're talking about, too. Because eventually, I think you end up you're talking about little kids, aren't you? You're like, oh yeah, I could probably fight. Year old. I could fight like I could fight a dozen eight year olds. I think. You think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. A dozen? Yeah. They this is like nothing. when they had all those midgets fight that lion, dude. I am so much str- Yeah, but no, they don't have claws or anything. They're unarmed, unarmed. No claws, no no knives. Yeah. I guess they could bite me. Could they bite? Yeah, uh, say bite. We thought of that the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're going, what are you going to use as a weapon? But they have so much energy, dude. Their energy levels through the fucking roof. Yeah, but I feel like if I, could, but yeah, but if if you I start, popped one right in the yeah, face. Yeah, if you start throwing... You start throwing haymakers, man. You can take down two, three. You pick up the first one, you throw it at the rest of them. Yeah, and then if swing them around, you just start start throwing them out the window one by one. Yeah, wearing them down. Gone, 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 gone. Haymaker, gone. gone. Grab one. Gone. (laughs) 
Just throwing them out the window. Wild kick, donkey punch. No, not donkey punch, donkey kick. <laughs> donkey punch. <laughs> Holy God. You're not donkey no. punching eight year olds. Nope. You can't, you can't be donkey punching eight year olds. <laughs> Okay, I think we found the name for this episode. <laughs> Donkey punch an eight-year-old? No, I no, I can't name it that. We'll get flagged. <laughs> flagged as being badasses for beating up a ton of eight-year-olds. Like a dozen. I think I could do that. Yeah. Well, they, it, it, I think it's really just a body mass thing. Like they're, they're way faster. Like sometimes when we like play around in the park and stuff, I try they try, I try to chase them uh-huh. and they can turn so much faster than I can. Yeah. I can pivot and dodge and stuff. Yeah. Right. But if it's like a they're they're trying to take me out and I'm trying to take them out. I have much bigger reach. I can take way more punches than they can. Yeah. And if you just land one, they're fast, but if you land one, they're gone. They're done. You full on gone. You full on human and what that's what I've always said, dude. When in doubt, human missile. Just like I've said that. E Honda forever. And I mean that for anybody. When in doubt, human missile. What do you mean? Like E Honda? Like from Street Fighter, the sumo guy who goes to point and he like flies across the stage. Kinda, yeah. Or a drop I kinda just mean a drop kick. Can you imagine a man of my size running the distance across the room and then turning the body into a fucking human missile? The, the impact would be legendary. <laughs> People would be like, God damn. Yeah, but you'd fuck yourself up too. He he knocked the shit out of that dude. He killed like three acres. He just blew one up. The one in front just blew up. If we used to have a similar conversation where we thought if we were, if all three of us, me and two of my friends were in an alleyway and we, the only way out of the alleyway is we had to fight Mike Tyson. And we used to have a similar conversation or what we would do. And the thing was, we're, we're all like, I think we could take him, but whoever's in front is getting fucking killed. So he, whoever's in front is going to be taking that first punch. Like we've lost whoever's in front immediately. But, you know, so like whoever's in front is getting murdered by Mike Tyson. And then. Yeah, a normal person cannot know, take a punch from him. Normal person's head. No, I, right I, and I'm still even thinking about that now. I don't think that three of us untrained just fucking dudes could take Mike Tyson. I, this is the argument is that my other friends like, now yeah, absolutely maybe. could three of us. We mean now, maybe he's like not. He's like you know. Oh, that's true. He's not. You know, yeah. he's not up. He's not as at his prime. Still, he's still. I mean, he's, yeah, dude. He ate a person, part of a person. He tattooed he didn't his eat face. It. He spit it out. He did he eat it? Yeah. No, I don't know if he ate it, but still, he bit a guy's ear off. And then he's he's an interesting person. He takes care of pigeons and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, but anyway, yeah, but those, yeah, so if you're kids, but if they were just like little adults, this is, is just difference? like, no, yeah, because they would have like their whole reasoning and stuff. They would know to stay away from you. Like a little kid will just rush you and you just pop them right in the face where an adult will know yeah. that you may and plus do you, that. And, and plus just as you, it's like people always talk about old man strength, like somebody you don't, you don't recognize like an old, old fella. He doesn't look strong, but they're probably more than likely stronger than a lot of people because they've just, their muscles have done more things. Also little kids that have never learned a lesson of how much, have you ever been punched full on in the face? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a lesson the they haven't are, learned yet. They don't know how much that sucks. Har- yeah, hardest I've ever been hit in my life was by a drunk girl. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, ex- I didn't expect to get hit, and she just fucking haymakered the living shit Where out. Where on of me. your face? Where on your face? Right in the nose. Busted my nose. Oh, she broke it. She didn't break it, but she busted it like it. Bu- it busted like it bled. It busted. It busted. It busted. <laughs> it busted. <laughs> she popped my nose. She bu- <laughs> Because we backed into, this was years ago, I was probably like 21, 22, I don't know. And we were in a parking lot, a bunch of us were leaving a bar and it was all, the car was all fogged up. And the guy that was driving was backing up and he bumped into the, I mean, just bumped into this other car. And everybody kind of gets out. And the people the, like, driving the cars were fine. They're just like, no, because everybody kind of been drinking. It was like, no, it's cool. Like, this, no, let's just get out of here. You know, <laughs> like, right. nothing, nothing happened. So we're like, all right, yeah. Like, well, in the middle of that, this uh, my girlfriend at the time and this other girl in the car like they pulled their car up parallel to ours like maybe like 30 feet out or something <clears throat> and they're screaming at each other in the from the back seats of the cars just like screaming shit like fuck you bitch Why? but just like crazy well, they're drunk as hell and just screaming shit and we're like oh god and we're like all right yeah all right, let's get out of here well this girl gets out of that car and it's like screaming all this shit and then my girlfriend gets out of the car and she's screaming all this stuff and we're like what the fuck yeah and we're trying to like just get back in the car get in the car and then i was telling her that and i turn around and this girl just starts running and she wasn't running at me she was running at my girlfriend and i just step out in front of her she was like a small little girl but she was like full-on running and i stepped out and was like hey 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 just trying to like stop her and she didn't even slow down dude just mid-run just haymaker just wham i didn't expect and hit me right in the face and then crashed into me and i grabbed her and picked her up and went somebody put this fucking thing in the car <laughs> And the guy was like, oh, shit. He's like, I'm sorry. And like, she knocked my glasses off my face and like my nose Holy was bleeding. Shit. I was like, what the fuck? I like, the guy was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Stupid. 
Ah, that's so great. Imagine that the next morning she doesn't remember any of that. And they're like, well, she's like, why does my hand hurt? Like, you just you <laughs> punched the shit out of a giant man. <laughs> shit out of this guy in a parking lot. <laughs> It was funny, like if you could see, like I, I play it in my head, like because I'm just walking with my hands up. I was like, whoa, 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 and just wham. That's great. Full on, full on run. You know, it's one of those things that you're talking about different things. You talk with your friends, and you, I, I'm so sure, like it's like a, with eight year olds. I feel like I can, I can kick twelve eight year olds' asses. I could easily destroy them. <laughs> I know it in my heart of hearts, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> you believe this? I do. I believe it. But so, yeah. but Mike and I always have with this conversation, and I know I'm wrong. That's the best part about this is like intellectually with my brain, I know that I'm wrong, uh-huh. but my heart Never. is like, you can do it. I think, buddy, you can, my heart's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I can jump over Mike. I think I can jump clean over his head. <laughs> I don't think, oh, we kept talking about that and I don't think, there's no way. I know, I know I can't, but I really feel like I can. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. Like, I don't, I mean, <laughs> that's like saying like, I really feel like I could dunk a basketball. Have you tried? Because once you do it once, your brain's going to be like, yeah, we were wrong. <laughs> we, buddy, <laughs> Ooh, we were not calculating that appropriately. Because what's going to happen is you're just going to collide hard as shit with Mike and knock him. You guys are both going to fall down. I don't even think I'll get my legs above his shoulders. I think I'll probably get like, I'll, there's like my belly will hit him right in the face. Yeah, your, your belly's going to hit him right in the face. <laughs> like his, your, his nose is going to go in your belly button. And he's going to be like, no. Oh. <laughs> He told, but imagine if I did it. Imagine if I was capable. That would be that would be great. You should practice in private, and then when you actually do it, you blow people away. Like yeah. you know, you're talking about unassisted, not like even like no, no, like no. A leapfrog thing, just leaping over. Just leap. I am in running start because I don't think I can just standing jump. And this little guy one time, he, when we were in uh, high school, he could leap over a car. Over? Not long ways. Not long ways, but he could. He would jump over it sideways. What the fuck? You know what I'm talking about? Like door to door, not from hood to trunk. <laughs> it's the stupidest way to try to describe that. Like, <laughs> what you mean? Like I know what you short- mean. He was a short little guy, man, but he could, he, his leg Running muscles start. or something, he could leap like a freak. Yeah. He could, he could dunk a basketball. And I mean, he was, I don't know, he was maybe like five foot five or something. And he would leap over cars. Is Mike taller than a car? It's, it's, yeah. How <laughs> I many is he taller than a car? <laughs> I'm seeing some big cars. I don't know. <laughs> he's on a car in like a Hummer or a big truck or something. He's taller than like a car. He's okay. got to sit down to get in it and not climb up. If he's got to climb up to get in it, then he's littler, smaller. But if he's, if he has to get down to get in it, then he's, wait, yeah, he's bigger. (laughs) But he told me that if I'm ever in a fight with someone, what my tactic should be is just try to jump over them. Uh Uh-huh. Like, and I'll win. Like, they don't see that shit coming. (laughs) Slam into them. You do something really worse, you just start screaming like a maniac, like right beforehand. It throws people off. I've never even begun, gotten close to a fight. No one has ever... (laughs) No, that's not true. It was one time some guys. Did I tell you this story where it was like New Year's party in New Bedford, which is kind of a kind of a slummy place. And we were leaving this bar right after midnight in New Year's. And uh, we go and we're hanging out and we parked out my car somewhere. And these guys were like, hey, is this your car? And there's a car right behind me that was blocking a driveway. Right. Oh. And we're like, oh, no, that's not ours. Where's the one right here? We're like, but that sucks. Because we figured that's your drive. That's their driveway. Right. And we're right. like, oh, that's so shitty, man. And, and my buddy yeah, Mitch is like, yeah. yeah, we should throw bottles at it. Fuck that guy. Right. And then the guy who asked us the question goes, that's my car. Yeah. And we're like, what? what? Yeah. Is <laughs> you throw bottles with my car? Yeah, exactly. We're like, no, no, we didn't know it was your car. We thought, because, and we were trying to be reasonable with him. And they were like, it was looking for a reason to try and fight. No, exactly. Exactly. And they're like, just yeah. get out of here, man. Just get out of here. And we're like, okay. <laughs> And then he got in his car and like peeled out in front of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cowabunga. Did you see that new Ninja Turtles? No. Is it a good? No. <laughs> it's, ba- <laughs> it's basically, uh, dude, Shredder just looks like a big transformer. Spoiler. If you've not seen it. Leonard Nimoy is dead. <laughs> yeah. Leonard Nimoy's dead in it. And then, no, he wasn't dead in that. He wasn't even in it. But the... <laughs> You should tell people about what, getting you to watch a Dune, because that was an experience. That was funny. No, I never seen that I before. Kept, I kept, I kept telling you, I was like, it's a weird movie, man. It's a weird movie. <laughs> we watched it in what thirteen parts. Yeah, because I found YouTube. it on YouTube for free, and it was split into like fourteen parts. And then number eight or seven or ten or something was just not there. It wouldn't work. So I missed like, <laughs> and it was the most important ten minutes of that what goddamn the movie. Most important part of the movie. <laughs> of course, it gets to that one, and like the main all one, they explain all the key plot points is gone. We had no, yeah, I had no like, idea what was happening. I was like, who are these yeah, people? Like, Why is he their leader now? God, the music in that movie. Saying, the music in like, that movie, the, the soundtrack is done by Toto. <laughs> yeah. But I remember sitting there watching it and we were like, 
I was like, yeah, I remember watching this movie when I was a kid and like not really understanding it, but uh, just thinking it was cool, but I didn't really understand what was going on. You're like, you watch this as a kid? You're like, I'm watching this as a grown adult and I have no fucking clue what's no, going on. it's nonsense. <laughs> it's nonsense. Well, there's a scene where he gets in this, this, this uh, he's like the one, he's like the Neo of this universe and he gets on this big worm that he pulls out of the ground. And he's riding it and he like climbs up like, eh, yeah. And he like hooks up his wires and he's riding it. And this other guy, this bald guy is like, oh shit, he's on the worm. And like runs out like, ha, 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 ha. And he climbs up. He got the big beard. It was, he had a big beard. I don't remember. But he, he, yeah, he, the, the, the bald guy was Patrick Stewart. Oh, right. It was a beard guy. So he walks up, he walks up behind him and the guy driving this worm, he's like driving like a horse. He look, looks behind him like, <laughs> pretty bitching, pretty bitching. Right? And like there's lightning going and then like Toto's like, Wee! Yeah, it's pretty. And the parts with Baron Harkonnen where he's pulling out heart plugs and wallering in blood. And, and they stuff. do no explanation. There's no explanation. It's just like, ah, 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 I killed you and now I am in your blood. Ah, I am strange and I have a, a, a weird face that they never explain. And I'm not the German, but I am when Sam tells it. My favorite part is when we're sitting there and he goes, but you'll have something. You'll have a new poison gas tooth. And he's like, refuse. <laughs> Yeah. The king, yeah. This, this guy gives, he, this guy kills the king, this king, and then he gives, he's like, but because, uh, because I've killed you, I, you're gonna be next to the bad guy or something, but I'm gonna give you a poison tooth and you can kill him with it. And he, the guy thinks for a moment, he's like, refuse. He says the word refuse instead of being like, nope. And the guy goes, <laughs> refuse. And the guy gets up, the guy who tried to give it to him, and he's like, remember the tooth. And then it does a close-up on his face, just his mouth and his mustache, and he goes, the face. Or the tooth. Remember the tooth? <laughs> <laughs> the face. Oh, my Movie God. Was it was so stupid. I liked it. I mean, it was cool, but it was stupid. Yeah, he is the Quizak Cataract. Yeah.